child, child and decency if mommy shoots me. I don't want to make nobody mad, jealous. Really? Yeah. Okay, so y'all, hold up. I know, gotta finish the good morning song. Hold up. when the girls see um at the monkey you know it so y'all good morning afternoon it's 12 30 yeah and he is over here spinning okay spinning but y'all this morning um i'm gonna have to apologize to y'all because your girl has been um Evening, y'all, when I come home, when I tell y'all, I be so tired, okay? Oh, my gosh. Tired ain't the word. Y'all, I'm getting air at last drop for this Fenty Beauty before I open the next bottle. Air at last drop. But, y'all, I have been so, like, tired the past couple of days. And, like, last night, y'all, I uh came home. I said goodbye to y'all. I think I showed y'all my new um, Alex and Annie uh, pieces, the one that say family and the one that say uh, give thanks. I think I showed y'all that. I guess I'll know when um, I edit the net, the vlog before. However, y'all, let me just tell y'all. I went upstairs. It was around about 7 o'clock, maybe. I was talking to Jazz, drinking a glass of wine. Y'all, we ended up drinking the whole damn bottle, okay? That's what kind of day it was yesterday. And it was that kind of day just because it's the, it's all the sh shenanigans like before Black Friday. So, yesterday, y'all, when I tell y'all, a sister, from the time I got to work at five, it was just like non-stop, like for real. Uh, we had a visit. Y'all know how visits can go. However, it was my first, like, visit that my store manager, she let me do the talking. Uh, she did chime in here and now. Um, yet, you know, our boss, he just wanted to know, like, what our plan was for Black Friday. When we sell out of something, what's the plan, yada, 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 what we gonna do. And... <sighs> Y'all, it's something, it's, it's, when I tell y'all, this place ain't nothing like no other retailer I've worked with. They ain't. It's in a good way, though, because it just teaches you how to step outside the box commercially, okay? Um, it's taught me some things already. I just need a quick container. Like, with preparation. Can you look at this earlobe? Let's see, is there still a piercing, like a hole in there? Or is it just, like, gone now? You got a little keloid. So do you see a hole on the inside? No. It's oh, that must hurt. It closed. I think you need to push it. You need to push it so you can get whatever's in there. You need to get it out. Because it feel like something in it. Like pus. You think I should put the piercing back in? Oh, no. Heal? Let, I think you should let it heal. I don't think the, you should put the piercing back in. So, y'all... I did that yesterday. Then after that, um, there ain't no Black Friday at uh, Primark just due to the fact every day Black Friday, like real talk, it is, like for real. However, we a lot of things did get marked down and in my department, um, it was like a lot of onesies and twosies stuff, but the main area was like blouses and stuff. So, prepping for that then big ass truck big truck okay what else i just feel like i, I haven't really like talked to y'all because i've been like busy um i come home tonight i'll be busy prepping for us having an early dinner tomorrow because jada gotta go to work and jazz has to go to work at midnight i'm going friday into a regular time okay 
Oh, well, wow. We dropped Jay off the work. Me and Mr. Long plan on going to see Creed. And we might check out some Black Friday, like Thanksgiving sales. We might. Um, Some things that we want to get the girls for Christmas that might go on sale. And some other folks we want to get for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, with that being said, yesterday just was a hectic ass day. And like y'all know I had to be to work at five. Um, I was I was tired, y'all. I was tired. I remember going upstairs at seven. I took a shower. I rinsed my hair because y'all know um colored my hair this morning with the uh luminous blonde color. I told y'all I don't like my sides to be dark. I don't. And when I get a haircut, I think now that uh, I have the length like I want on top, I probably will just start going like every 10 days. But um, I got my haircut. Jasmine and I went to the Goodwill that was over in that area and I gotta show y'all what I got. I gotta show y'all. And I got hauls to edit. Y'all and I said I got so much stuff to edit. Um, I don't like, this is me, I don't like putting out two videos in one day. But if I have to, to play catch up so y'all can catch up to where like we actually are like within the week, then I will because I don't like the content to get too old. You know, I like it to be fresh for y'all. But I think I'm going to solicit some help in editing with jasmine with the uh hauls because i have a few and they take time to edit just for colors so with thought to be on sod um i came home yesterday and y'all my ass was out like a light like out like a light out like a light and i gotta be at this house like in the next 20 minutes because i'm finally you know my husband's schedules um then Worked out to where I can go get my ID card today. So because it's gonna be like my forever picture, you know I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta be fly. Okay, you gotta be cuteness. Okay, stuck with an ID card like damn near forever. You want it to look right. So um, I gotta meet him on the other base by. Three and I'm trying to be out of here by 1.30 at the latest because I don't know what kind of headache they're going to give me at the gate, you know, because I've been, I've been having, uh, they've been serving it to me, y'all. They've been having me feel like I am not an American, okay? Like, they've been doing the damn most, okay? Needless to say. Y'all, why well, when I woke up, like, around 11, 11, like, I thought, like, I had to be to work, right? Literally, y'all, it was 11, 11 when I woke up. I know that's, like, a lucky time, like, when you can catch the hour on the hour. However, I remember I woke up at that time. Y'all, also, I felt like I had slept for hours. Just in a short amount of time. Sometimes that's all you kind of be needing is like a power nap. And like I was going to say, okay, Steph, you can get up and go edit them vlogs. Nah, child, I stayed right there in the bed. And next thing I know, like I had reached over because I was like, where is Mr. Long? He texted me like right in the moment. And he was like, babe, I'm downstairs. He was like, where is the Bluetooth for the house? And I was like, it should be. I said, Jada. That's where it said, Jada. And then he was like, well, I'll be upstairs in a little bit. He was like, I'm watching football. Cool. Works for me because I had no TV on. I was out like a light. Y'all, I woke up again at 2.30. He was in the bed with me. And y'all, I felt like I could have like got up the whole night and like just went jogging. I felt so rested. And I think it just was because I had like two glasses of wine. Um, I had took a shower. I was relaxed. I uh, don't have a care in the world about what was going on at the time. And it was like, it was my moment to like just rest and just sleep. And it was a good, it, oh my God, y'all, I slept so freaking good. One by one this morning as my family left, Mr. Long being the first. No, Jazz was the first. She came, she said, Mommy, I'll see you later. This was like at... 440 at 5 
15, no, 5.30, Mr. Long came and said, Hon, I'll see you later. Don't forget this. Don't forget that when you get ready to come up to uh, the other base. Got it. Then, um, around 6.30, Jada came and said, Mommy, I'll see you later. Love you. Talk to you. Jada's already home, as y'all can see. They had early release today. So, just left me and Bond. Bond don't normally be in the bed with us, okay? Because Mr. Long can't stand it. But this morning, he just really wanted to cuddle with me. So when he see I grab his blanket, like his blanket out his bed, he know, cuddle time. It's cuddle time. Y'all, after Jada left, me and Bond cuddled and went to sleep until around about um, 7, 30, 8 o'clock-ish. And then I got up. And we just sat in the bed and I was reading. I was on my social media posting stuff. And y'all, I was just talking about mainly how I'm just so like, I'm glad I took a leap of faith and just decided to literally like just become a girl rocking a fade. I tell y'all, if I do grow my hair out, it won't be much just due to the fact that I really enjoy my short hair and I started I, I cut it off as a commitment and a promise to Jazz because Jazz was doing some new new shit in 2016 and I promised her that I would join the journey with her once it got warmer here of course and I did it and I've grown it out a little bit, had some dreads this past year, some different hairstyles and all of that. But then I went back to it and I went back to it y'all because I freaking love it. I love it. I think, um, I'll read to y'all what I have posted on Facebook on Facebook and Instagram because I know all of y'all don't have Instagram. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh y'all, my glue is acting up. Come on. And all y'all don't have Instagram or Facebook. So I'm going to read it to you so that y'all could be a part of this. And what just like really just like makes me like, y'all, when I'm at the barber shop, the way the men look at you when a woman is sitting in the chair, they be like, really? Yeah, bruh. Uh, y'all come to the barber shop to get yourself groomed and, um, I personally likes the way a barber cuts my fade versus a stylist. And I know a stylist can do it, but it's just something about going to a barber and him knowing what you get. I took y'all on that journey with me like a week ago, and I let y'all witness my barber cutting my hair. So y'all, ooh, this is fly. That's so fly right there. That's fly. Maybe I'll start to let the top grow out and keep the sides short and stuff. Y'all know I did that like with some weave. But I love my short hair. I love it. And this is what I said. And this is the picture I used. Y'all, it want to focus on me, okay? It wants to focus on me. I said, I often get asked, why did you cut your hair so short? I've always been a woman to keep my crown how done however my daughter decided to do the big chop and i promised i would join her on this journey for real for real it's been the most liberating thing i've ever done with my hair i'm not seen for my hair however i'm seen for the the beauty within my confidence capital letters is the only accessory i need because without the makeup color or clothes i am a girl rocking this fade Free yourself from bundles, flat irons, and missing edges. I promise you, you won't miss it. Now, no shade to my sisters that wear weaves and bundles and all that stuff. No shade to y'all. You know why? Because some people like it. Some people like their lace fronts and stuff like that. That ain't me. That ain't me. Uh, I like to change my hair up, and I do own a couple of wigs. Ooh, maybe that'd be a cute, uh, like lookbook wig okay that might be a cute lookbook show y'all like my wigs I got uh, some of them I might not be able to funk as I would if like my hair was like uh the natural color just due to the fact that um 
some of my wigs have dark roots because I like dark roots. But there's a pixie that I'm thinking about ordering, and I'm going. It's not a. It's a. It's a. It's a wig. It's a, um. What you call it? It's one of the mommy wigs, and one of Instagram followers. She had uh, tagged me to where I could get this wig from because I had posted a picture like two weeks ago. That you know. Being a woman, y'all, we have so much advantage. Like, we could change our look anytime we feel like it, okay? Anytime. No holes, bars, you know, none. However, y'all, we got to protect our hair, too. You know, it's our crown and glory. It's the first thing uh, people see next to your face when they see you, right? And a lot of times, people make judgment just based off of your yo how okay um people think that if you have locks you you scary or you may um you might do something to me be real people stereotype people just like they stereotype people who have a bunch of tattoos and shit oh they might not be quite right no they just like art okay they just like stepping outside the box and they just want to be genuinely them. And if that means sporting their sleeves and, you know, doing this and doing that, you know, let them live. You know, same thing with your hair. Let them live. Um, another stereotype as a girl rocking a fade. Sometimes people get it twisted. People may think that you have cancer or chemo or something like that that's why you cut your hair off i had a customer last week me and jasmine both were standing near each other talking and she walked up and she had a beanie on her head and she was like oh my god she was like women like me y'all she was caucasian okay she was a white sister all right y'all let me tell you she said she took her her beanie off and she was like it's nice to see that i can see other women rocking short hair she was like have you guys ever had people ask you like are you having chemo uh did you lose your hair because of cancer and i've never had that asked however um the next thing i've never had asked either was um was I bisexual or, you know, was I, you know, into women because of my short hair? Because sometimes we get stereotyped as we are bisexual, we, um, we're gay. Your hair does not define who you are. And so talking to this woman, she was like, I was like, girl, take that beanie off and rock that short hair. And she was like, you know what? She said, you guys make me feel so good. And I was like, girl, you are a girl rocking a fade. And you better rock that shit. Fuck what people say. Fuck what society says. Enjoy it. And I'm going to say the same thing. If you're a chick that like your weaves and your, your lace fronts and stuff like that, rock it. Wear it proudly. But I'm going to just say this. This is my disclaimer. Wear the shit right, y'all. Please make sure your lace is laid, okay? Make sure, like, that it ain't just sitting there like a damn hat, okay? Because, y'all, some people, I just be wanting to just be like, come here, boo. Come here. Come here. Let me help you out. Because I don't like women to not look all the way put together I, I don't like it it really disturbs my soul and it bothers me and it's just because i care that's it so y'all let me put my clothes on because it's what i'm wearing i'm um, dress and fail i was so feeling my red yesterday i said i want to wear it again today i want to wear red again so i'm about to put on this I know y'all be like stuff you be all over the place talking to us about one thing and then jump to the next but I am really liking this Kylie Jenner uh, lip kit. Now I'm going to do something that I will never do. And I'm going to draw over my line. And I want to see what it come out with. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a little bit over my line. Y'all ain't go ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Jazz said, Mommy should do it to see if you get the illusion of some fuller lips. They look fuller. <laughs> I 
I gotta call my mama back. Y'all, she called me this morning. I was knocked out. This is when I was sleeping good, but they look fun, Now, let me pull the rest of this look together, and I'll be right back. Woo! All right, y'all. Let me back y'all up. Mm-hmm. So, I have on my turtleneck dress. I was really feeling my red yesterday. Like, really. I was feeling it. Y'all ever have a moment? Y'all be feeling it? You be like, damn, let me do that look again. Well, yesterday I had on all black with some um, plaid. And I took some pictures with my coworkers at work. Ooh, honey. Your hat is laid, honey. Take a little toothbrush. Lay down those wannabe flyaways. I need to get me some type of um I don't like using like um what do you call it? Edge control. Cause I think with your hair natural and stuff like this, like you don't be needing like product build, build up and that's why like I don't necessarily use products like that. Oh my god, I got mail and no one told me. Um, you remember that day I took you to the bank because it was gonna close your account? I have 17 cents on my credit card. I'm broke. Girl. $2 and 17 cents on the other one. That's <coughs> not broke. To me, that's you got something. I'm still broke. I can't buy nothing with a $2. I, actually, I could buy a screen protector from the dog stuff for $2. I need $2. Y'all, she done like broke her damn phone. No, no. It's on my phone. You crack the phone first then the teacher put the damn thing on the charger and then the teacher dropped she it. made the hole not me and i told her that she said no i didn't i was there when that first happened no it wasn't trust me i know my phone looks like i look at it every day i don't know you put that hole there she was like i'm, I'm sorry like what do you need to do uh hey to get it fixed and what she said she started laughing because uh well jay uh, to be honest you broke it initially, so that's your responsibility. Okay, but if a teacher is dropping a student's phone off the desk and cracked it even more, that's also their responsibility too. Oh uh, well, she ain't gonna claim that responsibility. If I was a teacher and I cracked a student's phone, I pay half. Um, she ain't gonna do that. Cause your phone was already cracked, and I don't know why you always be taking your phone screen protector off. I don't take mine off. I and broke. Well, that's your problem. Jade, Jada, and you shouldn't take it off until you have another one ready to put on. So now you're going to have to pay $100 to get that screen fixed, not me. This will get ready with me for your ass, right? Yes. So, y'all, I, I don't want to review this palette so to speak because i've only like tried it like twice and so far i can tell y'all i'm not happy with it and it is the new palette i showed y'all the other day by james charles with morphe and um Some of the colors to me are just not like, I don't know if they was pressed all the way right or what, but um, some of the colors I just, I don't like so far. And like this morning I had just threw the box, the packaging in the trash. Y'all made Jada go out, out in the recycling thing and go get it, okay? Because um, I'm not sure if like I'm feeling this all the way. Like real top. So, um, 
this is what it looked like y'all this is the palette right here beautiful colors in it like the whole shebang however so far i've used that color this color that color and that color and y'all like i just don't feel like my face should be full of eyeshadow fallout like on my cheeks and stuff so i said i wasn't gonna give it a review quite yet until i'm able to sit down and truly truly do like a whole makeup look with it and give it a chance y'all gotta take my wipe and i gotta wipe my nose piercing and to wipe my earrings because you know dust be getting all on your earrings from your makeup it do y'all and i just need to add some highlighter to my cheeks and i'm using this gold color by mac And, um, y'all, my makeup be subtle. I ain't the chick that gotta have, like, beam me up, Scotty, um, highlighter. I don't like to see people when they makeup be looking caked either. But some people like that caked look. What's your look? You like natural? Or do you look, you want, you like to have like cake face? <clears throat> now tell me. So now, I'll put some lotion on these legs of mine. And put some boots on, some booties. And today, I am going for like a monochromatic look. All red from head to toe. You're up. And what's going to break it up is going to be that distressed denim jacket that it's by zara's and um i bought it from the thrift store y'all was with me that night i got it from the thrift store so lotion up these these legs Run! chicks we have it on um can't be ashy okay can't be Let me pull the whole look together and I'll show you guys in just a sec. All right, y'all. This is my entire look. I have on a red sleeveless uh, sweater dress. I have on this Zara distressed, um, like denim blazer. I have on red sock booties, as you can see. And I bought these from Strawberries in New York. This was thrifted and this was $14.99. The dress is like from like Rainbow or Charlotte Ruth, one of them. And that probably was like $14.99. This is my bag I'm carrying. Just like my, one of my favorite fall bags. But, bam, that is the look, okay? Now, my throw is this, y'all remember I got this from Forever 21. This plaid throw right here with a touch of fur, and bam, I'm ready to go. You feel me? Face is beat. Perfect for a new ID picture. Perfect. Hopefully I ain't gotta take one. Hopefully. Cause I ain't cute. Will be another ugly picture I got. 
Your last picture was ugly. Did you I had one ugly? eyebrow done. Oh snap! You ain't never look. <laughs> Captain noticed it. I literally have one eyebrow. So I got to bring my passport. Look. One eyebrow. <coughs> one. Oh, maybe that's when you was practicing. That was when I first started wearing makeup. Oh, hold on. Here go these. Um, my eyebrows glowed up. Uh huh. So did. Here, these are magnetic ones. They, that's the top, the one that's sitting on top of the one that said the bottom. So y'all, let me go get in the car. Uh, like a light, <laughs> like a light. Afternoon, everyone. Perfect beat for a brand new ID card. Okay, okay. So y'all, unfortunately, I was not able to get my military ID card today due to they closed early because of the damn holiday. Why my hair keeps sticking up on this side? I'm so irritated, y'all. Just don't understand. This takes up a lot of time and inconvenience. Okay? So, now, been like two hours. Wait for work. They know. Showing up, y'all. Just be showing up, okay? That's all I can say. Aggravated. So, we're gonna have to do this again next week on Tuesday or Friday when I'm off. But I am still military idealist, okay? So, yeah, let me get into this building and get to work finally. Because I don't know what I'm about to walk into. Real talk. Tell y'all, it's cold. The weather today was deceiving. I cannot wait to get home. <sighs> oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. it is with me and law enforcement this past uh, week but this is getting old like for real all right y'all it's 11 40. i'm just getting home i'm tired i'm sleeping because Tonight's clothes. We had to be ready for tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow afternoon. Signage. The set. The whole shebang. If you work retail, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I had all the intentions to come home and I like, get my macaroni and cheese started. I don't feel like it. And y'all, when you don't feel like cooking, don't cook because you will mess it up. In the state of mind I'm in right now, I just want to chill and rest. I'm having me a glass of wine, take me a hot shower. And I'll get up around 10, have dinner finished by 12, lunch, and carry on with the rest of my day. I hope y'all have a happy Thanksgiving by the time y'all get this vlog. Until likely it'll be Black Friday. But I hope you all have a, a happy Thanksgiving. And be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for life. Love. And the people you get to share it with. And be thankful that God woke us up another day. So y'all, good night. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. We're just going to stop by the cops on the way home. 
and I'm oh, I'm doing that. And, but I'm gonna just tell y'all, it is a very scary feeling to get stopped, particularly at night. We know stuff happens in broad daylight, but it's very scary to get stopped on a road that literally is only two-way traffic. Okay. And then he's saying that, you know, I was doing, he said I was doing 62 and a 50. I told him, I don't know how that's possible because uh, oncoming traffic is blinding me with their rights. So, I don't believe that. He asked me again, how was my driving record? I said, fine. He took all my stuff. I had it for him. But y'all, after watching The Hate You Give, it's like really, like you really want to just keep like your hands where they see them. They don't think nothing. I even had a light on inside the car. He ran my license and he came back and he was like, well, could you just slow it down? Okay. But that's what you say. But, y'all, I don't know, what is it with some law enforcement this past two weeks? You know? People up at the gate don't know how to act. Anywho, I ain't about to let nobody do my sunshine. So, I'll be back tomorrow, fresh and ready to roll. Alright? And I'll see y'all then.